Hello everyone, my name is Nuvola and welcome to another video. 1.20 has been released, so that means we have a whole lot of new farms to make. Today's tutorial is a pink petal farm. Without further ado, let's head into it. Let's go! Here you can see the layout of the build. And we're going to start off with placing two blocks of stone bricks along the entire perimeter of the build. As you can see here, these are two blocks high. Now from each side we're going to create a staircase up to the platform. Do this by placing five stone bricks and then alternate stone brick stairs with mossy stone brick stairs. And on the second level, on the sides, actually place it facing into the other stair. Now you want to repeat this on all four sides. Next up, move into the circle and place down cherry planks. You can alternate the planks with some stripped cherry wood to give it a little bit more detail. Fill in the entire platform. After that, grab some dark oak fences and place these along the side like this. You should get this sort of W shape. You want to repeat this on all four sides. On top of these dark oak fences on these locations we're going to place four more dark oak fences. So in total it should be five fences high. You want to repeat this on all four sides as well. Time to start working on the roof. Grab some cherry stairs and create a pattern like this from each of the entrances. When you reach the middle, place down an upside down stairs facing inwards and a normal stair facing outwards. Place a trapdoor behind that, then repeat on the other side as well. Then place a cherry fence in front of the middle stair with a trapdoor on top. Repeat this for all four sides. We're now going to connect the roofs using cherry leaves. This is a little bit random, so I decided not to speed up the video here so that you can see exactly how I place these leaves. They are a little bit different on each side and of course you can place these however you like. But if you are not feeling very creative today, you can just follow along what I'm doing right here. After you've connected all of the roofs with the leaves, you can place more dark oak fences on the fifth level and connect all of the corners. Then on the inside corners of these dark oak fences on the fifth level, place down five more dark oak fences. And do this for all sides. Now 
Now grab your cherry leaves again and fill in the roof a little bit more. Eventually we want to create two levels. So we have a roof made out of cherry leaves on the first level. It should be about as high as your roof for the entrance is. Again, this is a very creative and kind of random process. So I tried not to speed up the video too much so that you can follow along. Uh, but feel free to do this any way you like. In the end it should look, well, approximately like this. Now we're going to create the top part of the roof. Start by placing some cherry leaves. This should be your lowest level for the top roof. This creates a division between the lower section and the upper section. There needs to be some airspace in between to give it the right effect. Again, I tried not to speed up the video here too much so that you can follow along and see how I place these leaves. That's the lowest level, and now it's just a matter of filling it in all the way to the top. That's about halfway. Now we can fill it in and make it complete. And I always like to place a few random leaves here and there just to break up the systematic pattern a little bit. Make it look more organic, so to say. Mm, yeah, that looks fine to me. Yeah, I'm happy with this. It's now time to light up the build. And I really like the cyan color of these soul lanterns with the dark oak and the cherry leaves. But I do know that it's a little bit more difficult to gather the resources for these soul lanterns. So you can also use regular lanterns if that's more convenient for you. Inside of the build, we're also creating a lot of light using the soul lanterns and some chains. You can hang chains from the cherry leaves as well. Using these chains on the cherry leaves, you can actually hang lanterns on all kinds of levels inside of the build and if you ask me that looks really cool looking at this from a distance i think that i want one more 
right there. There we go. Yeah, makes all the difference. Okay, time for the functional part. Move onto the platform and find the middle block. Delete this and delete the one in front of it as well. Place a chest here with a hopper facing into it. And then grab a rail. Place that on top of the hopper by crouching down. And on top of this rail, place down a hopper minecart. Now you want to break the rail underneath the minecart. There we go. And now we're going to surround it with four grass blocks. There we go. Place a piston facing into one of these blocks. Place a lever next to the piston, not on top of it, but next to it. And push one of the blocks onto the hopper minecart. As you can see, the hopper minecart is now inside of the grass block. We're now going to create a hole behind the hopper like this and we're going to place an observer facing upwards right here. Then move out of the hole and place an observer facing into the other observer and the red light should start flickering. You can then place a dispenser on top which should start trying to dispense something but because nothing is in it, it won't dispense anything. This can be quite annoying quite fast. So to stop this, place a lever on top and flip it. Should stop the triggering of the dispenser. You can then place your pink petals on top of the grass block. And we're gonna start on the decoration. Surround it with stripped cherry wood. Two blocks high and in front of the hopper minecart you can place a hanging sign just like this which covers up the hopper minecart. We will then create a very simple roof using cherry stairs. And on top you want to place cherry slabs and not trapdoors. Fill in the roof. Like that. And at the back you can actually place a trapdoor next to the observer. Don't place one on the dispenser because it will constantly flip when you flip the lever. You can fill the dispenser with bone meal and actually your farm is now completely functional. Place a light source inside to light it up a little bit. And yeah, that's it. You can now test it out. Flip the lever and you should see a lot of green particles because the bone meal is fired into the pink petals and every pink petal that is created automatically gets caught in the hopper minecart which transports it into the hopper which transports it into the chest anyway that's it for me i hope you enjoyed the video please like if you did leave any comments if you have any suggestions or questions and subscribe if you want to see more i hope to see you in the next one and have a great day cheers everyone